Bruce Willis, the prolific action movie star, has been diagnosed with aphasia, a disorder that affects the brain's language center and a person's ability to understand or express speech, and will step away from acting, his ex-wife, Demi Moore, announced in an Instagram post on Wednesday, to Bruce. As a result of this and with much consideration Bruce is stepping away from the career that has meant so much to him. We are moving through this as a strong family unit, and wanted to bring his fans in because we know how much he means to you, as you do to him, it continued. As Bruce always says, live it up, and together we plan to do just that. The post is signed Emma, Demi, Bruner, Scout, Tallulah, Mabel and Devlin, referring to Emma and Willis, Willis's wife, and his children. Moore is the mother of Rumor, Scout, and Tallulah, and Hemming Willis's mother to Mabel and Evelyn. The post was accompanied by a comical photo of a younger, smirking Willis wearing a bathrobe, sunglasses, a gold chain with a cross, and a towel around his head. Representatives for Willis did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Willis who turned 67 this month, is most famous for his role as the rough around the edges, yet clever, New York City cop John McClane in the highly successful Die Hard movie series, made up of five films from 1988 to 2013. He is also starring in critically acclaimed films like Pulp Fiction, 1994, The Sixth Sense, 1999, and Moon Arise Kingdom, 2012. While thought of primarily as a movie star, he has received more accolades for his work on television, for his role as the private detective David Addison, played opposite Sybil Shepherd, in Moonlighting, an ABC comedy drama romance that ran from 1985 to 1989, he earned three Golden Globe nominees. He also won a guest actor in a comedy Emmy in 2000 for his role as Paul Stevens, the father of Ross Geller's much younger girlfriend on the NBC series Friends. Since 2015, his filmography has mostly been an onslaught of B-movie action productions, including Breach, in 2020, and Fortress, in 2021.